Hello and welcome to This Week in Longmont for September 25, 2020. I'm your host, Sergio Angeles with Longmont Public Media. Let's get started. Longmont seeks applications for 2021 Human Service Agency funding. The City of Longmont has opened its 2021 application process for human service grants to community agencies that assist our most vulnerable residents to meet their individual and family's basic physical, social, economic, and or emotional needs. Applications are due by 4 p.m. on Friday, October 16, 2020. Late applications will not be accepted. To learn how to register or for more information, contact Eliberto Mendoza at 303-774-3511 or email at eliberto.mendoza, lamontcolorado.gov. LPC adds new vehicle charging station at Longmont Public Library. Longmont Power and Communications has installed a new electric vehicle charging station at Longmont Public Library. The, the new library site means that Longmont now has five city-owned EV charging stations that are free for public use. The announcement comes just before National Drive Electric Week, which is held between September 26 and October 4. So come on down and charge your EV. Strider Glider Bike Race for Preschoolers. Preschoolers ages 2 through 5 can showcase their balanced biking skills during a morning of racing fun at 9.30 a.m. on Saturday, October 3rd at Willow Farm Park at 901 South Fordham Street. Participants should bring their glider and helmet, which is required. Limited space is available and pre-registration is required. The registration deadline is 5 p.m. on Wednesday, September 30th. For more information and to register, of which it's $15 per resident rider, please visit longmontcolorado.gov forward slash rec or call 303-651-8404. Register for more beer archaeology. Beer archaeologist Travis Rupp returns virtually to the library from 7 to 8 p.m. on Thursday, October 8th with his presentation, Beer as a Remedy and Scapegoat for Illness and Antiquity. The popular speaker and CU lecturer will examine beer's relationship to illness and pandemics throughout history. This free online program is for adults age 21 and older. Registration is required at bit.ly forward slash libprograms or call 303-651-8472 to sign up. Don't miss it. Shred your private documents for free. Take your boxed or bagged private documents to, the sh to, to be shredded uh, to the Waste Diversion Center at 140 Martin Street between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. on Saturday, October 10th for safe and secure recycling. This is for residential documents only. No business materials will be accepted. Also, take identification and a copy of your most recent Longmont utility bill. For more information, visit longmontcolorado.gov forward slash waste services or call 303-651-8416. So don't miss out on shredding your documents for free. Go out on a limerick and win. Longmont Power and Communications is, hiding a, is holding a limerick contest for Public Power Week held October 4th through the 10th and two LPC customers could win a $100 downtown Longmont gift card. To enter, simply write a limerick about why you love Longmont's community-owned power and send it to LPC. You can email your entry to lpc at longmontcolorado.gov. You can submit a Facebook message to Longmont Power and Communications Next Light uh, Facebook page, or you can mail or hand deliver to 1100 South Sherman Street, Longmont, Colorado 80501. All entries must be received by October 10th. For details and, and contest rules, please visit longmontcolorado.gov forward slash public power week. Kids' Bike Program Accepting Donations. The volunteers at the Longmont Kids' Holiday Bike Program, sponsored by Bicycle Longmont, are accepting new and used children's bicycles with wheels with wheel sizes ranging from 12 to 24 inches. Functional bikes are preferred but flat tires are okay. These dedicated volunteers will ready the bikes for distribution 
to new young owners during the holiday season. You can donate bicycles until December 4th at any Longmont fire station. Find fire, uh, you can find fire station locations at bit.ly forward slash Longmont fire. So that's it for this week in Longmont. Thank you for tuning in and we'll catch you next week.